Sagittarius. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. Sag, this is going to be your August 2020 monthly love reading. I'm using Crystal Visions. And Sag, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram for live readings. Love to have you there. Links to everything are below the video. Sagittarius. Hold on here, Sag. Maybe that's like not even flipped over anyway. Sagittarius. Perfect. So sorry. Excuse me. Um, strength, sign of Leo. I knew it was coming. I couldn't even. I couldn't hold it back. Strength. Yeah. Justice, sign of Libra. Empress. Aries, Taurus, female. Three major kind of cards right in a row. Interesting. And yet somebody's bored emotionally. Four of Cups. This has been coming out a lot. Well, you guys are only my fourth sign. I think it's been off and up for every single sign. Wow, Nine of Cups. Right in the center of the reading, too. That's beautiful. Eight of Swords. Five of Wands. Interesting. Six of Cups. And the World. Okay. I mean, definitely hopes, wishes. What's at the bottom? Let me see for shits and giggles. Oh, my God. I can't even make this up. Okay, sign of Aquarius. <laughs> wow, this, this really never happens. Okay. Wow. Hopes, wishes, dreams coming true. Strength, sign of Leo. But it's also patience, being strong, brave. You know, I get this feeling like you feel in some way, shape, or, or form, Sagittarius, that you've been wronged in some way or someone else does. So, Libra, for some of you, like maybe you have been done wrong, treated unfairly. You also have the the Empress, Aries, Taurus. You know, this could be your partner, your spouse. But I do feel strongly that someone feels like they have been done wrong. And I also feel like there's a big dilemma here. Four of Cups, Eight of Swords. Four of Cups, Eight of Swords in the middle of the Nine of Cups. So interesting. I think you have a big dilemma. Okay, so with the Nine of Cups, I think some of you are very undecided as far as kind of, oh, I'm 
I'm sorry. It's kind of letting go of the whole thing. Or them. Whoever they are. And I say that someone is undecided about, you know, letting go of the whole thing because of the Four of Cups energy. You know, it's kind of like just not caring anymore, feeling bored, emotionally unhappy. Could be in a relationship and you feel emotionally disconnected from that person. Feeling mentally trapped stuck this is even fear some of you could be in a marriage a partnership you know where the, you know just things feel unfair to you so much that you, you just don't really I mean you're a Sagittarius I mean when you don't give a shit you just don't give a shit no more I mean some of you could be feeling definitely stuck trapped in that relationship you know, but you also have the Nine of Cups. You have both wish cards here, which is, I mean, it very seldom happens. I mean, really. And I do see you working hard. I do see you working things out with this relationship. Whatever it was, you know, where you felt like, you know, you were done wrong. This definitely could turn in your favor, Sagittarius. You know, because the Nine of Cups is, and this in the center of your reading, is all about, you know, being emotionally very happy. Even though it is surrounded, I mean, by, I mean, difficult energy. I mean, you have the five of wands here. Fights, arguments. So it could also be someone definitely feeling conflicted, you know, internal struggles. And it really could be over someone from the past, six of cups. Or you could be Conflicted with literally just ending it with this person and, and closing the door. Just on, on the whole past. But I think some of you are going to do that. You, the world, listen. Finally closing that chapter successfully and moving on to the next chapter cycle of your life. But I think some of you might not be able to give up. For some of you, this could absolutely turn out in your favor. But some of you definitely feel conflicted about the relationship. I mean, you definitely feel, or they do, again, completely stuck. Let's get some more cards from the Witches Tarot. Three of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and then you got the Two of Wands. Some of you have been waiting 
You could be waiting for things to literally fall back into place. You know, you've definitely, with the Three of Pentacles, you've invested a lot of time, energy, ener into this, into this relationship. I'm going to, seriously, I have Four of Swords, Strength, I see a lot of patient energy having to wait. Some of you, I, I think definitely healing needs to happen within your relationship definitely the star is a very powerful healing energy so is the four swords you know definitely healing needs to happen within your relationship it might be giving someone some space to think about things you know, I definitely feel like some of you have definitely been done wrong to the point where you're unhappy. You kind of feel like you don't care anymore. Either way, it's like you've waited long enough. You've invested a lot of time and effort. And I feel like you're looking at other possibilities of finally moving on, closing, closing the door. Even in the past, if this person is with you now, he most likely feels that you need to close the door on this relationship, or he does, they, he, she does. If this is just something that you just started thinking about, I think you definitely need more time to think about this. You know, ask yourself if it's really the time to let go. And if it is, you know, then move on. Because uh, I do feel like you're struggling with this. And I feel like, you know, I feel like you know that you deserve better, Sagittarius. You've been done wrong, but you're just not sure if you should let it all go. Big decisions are needed for you guys this month. Huge Huge decisions. What's under this? <laughs> well, well, he, who's he? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, male. <laughs> Person is probably spying on you. You, them. So some of you are dealing with an air sign, a Leo, a Taurus, Aries, an Aquarius, but a, a Taurus does come through here pretty strong. If it didn't resonate, you know, watch your other signs. If you are not subscribed to my channel on Sagittarius, please do subscribe. Absolutely adore you guys, and I will see you back here soon. Take care.